Big Z Reviews. Three Pines is a new Canadian mystery series that just finished its first season on uh, Amazon Prime Video, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Chief Inspector Gamache, why don't you walk us through what you have so far? One minute she's sitting in the chair, next she's dead. And no one saw anything suspicious. Not a thing. She wasn't the easiest person to get along with. She was a little critical. She seemed a little cold. I think they all hated her. Every single one of them. <laughs> so this mainly stars uh, Alfred Molina as Inspector Gamache. And he is um, like a really interesting detective. Kind of like, it reminded me a bit of like Vera. You know, but I, I love that he is a genius and he is great at his job. He's great at solving mysteries. And then now he's kind of like, he's been focusing on, he's been assigned to this area called Three Pines, which is like a small town. And there's also like a lot of history in the area with um, Native, Native, I was going to say Native Americans, but they're Canadian. I think they're called First Nations. But um, th like there is... There's like, there's, um, two, each week they release two episodes and each two episodes, I think was probably like based on a book. So like they're, um, each two, the, each two episodes are like one main mystery, but then also throughout the eight episode season, there's like an arc that they follow while they're solving the other mysteries about this, um, this, uh, first nation, uh, woman and her friend that have disappeared and like there's so there's each one each like there's like each you know mystery and then there's a the big mystery throughout the season and like uh, Alfred Molina along with him is like the people other people investigating are uh Rossif Sutherland and uh Ella Maja Tailfeathers and uh Sarah Booth so there's like they're they're all pretty competent uh, Sarah Booth I think is a little the least competent of the group but um I think the other probably main character like is uh, Ellie Maja uh, Tailfeather. It's like she is uh, and also like a First Nations woman, and but she is so she is like also really feels for the mother and the grandmother and the family of this missing girl, and like and there's a lot of drama there. But like, she has stuff going on with her family too, but like there's it's really well crafted uh, show. And I really like all the actors and the mysteries are interesting. But I think what I really, really appreciate about this is um, Alfred Molina, like he plays a, a detective where like, I, I, it always annoys me when so many detective shows, they have like, they have them being like torture geniuses. And, and that's to say, he does have like um, a, a bit of a torture past, you know, you learn that like he had a tragic childhood but like he is still he's a good guy and even like multiple times he'll like use his detective skills to figure out things about his co-workers and help them with something that's going on in their life if he cares about them you know and i kind of love that it's not like he's not an asshole to people he wants to help these people like he he's not he doesn't just care about solving the mysteries he cares about the people that are involved like, it's really cool, too, you know, that, like, um, throughout each mystery, you know, you have the a lot of the re repeating cast of characters. Um, I found it a little bit like some, like, the one the one Australian show I really enjoyed. I did a review for a while ago. I forget what it was called at the moment. But, like, you know, that uh, at one point, like, um, like the, the, the first mystery, like, all these people will be suspects. But then they'll show up later, and they might again be suspects. Or they might be victims, or they might just be witnesses, or like, you know. So, like, I li like that because it's a smaller town, you have a lot of the same, you know, a big cast of characters to play with. And, like, they're all really interesting people, and they're all well acted. And the kind of each two episode arc has, like, uh, the mysteries are all very different. They're, none of them feel like repetitive. And like I like to, you know, the um, the main mystery that goes throughout the whole season, like it's a, a lot of interesting stuff with it because, you know, there's maybe like something's going on where, like, like he keeps getting stuff from the higher ups and the police that, where like it's almost like they don't really want him to solve the case, 
So there's something going on. There's intrigue. You know, and I love that shit. You know? Like, it's really a great film. I definitely recommend if you enjoy mysteries. A great show. Sorry. But I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10. You know, it's a really excellent show. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.